So now that we are back in our project, let's get started by opening up our character. Now we want to add sprint functionality. Um, so we have to um, create a variable and call it sp sprint. Now we are going to change this to a float and compile that. Now we also are going to create a boolean called is sprinting. Change that to a boolean and go into our move forward and move right and add a, a branch. Drag out our is sprinting set. So if it is sprinting, um, we're going to set first, we're going to drag our character movement node right here. And we're going to set max um, walk speed. Right now, our current max walk speed is just trying to find it right over here is 600. So we're going to double this and make it, um, we're not going to double, we're going to make it 1000. Drag that to true and that into add movement. And now we're going to create a new action map. Go to project settings, scroll down to input and go into action mapping and call this sprint. Changes to left shift. Okay, so with regards to setting up a sprinting functionality, what you want to do is you want to create an event ticked. Let's drag this away because it's going to be a pretty, pretty big graph. And then you want to drag off a sequence. This is, you don't have to use a sequence, it's just for better organization. Add three pins and off the first pin, drag off a branch. Because we are going to create an if statement. So let's create a new variable um, and call this one has stamina. Okay, so drag off is sprinting. Plug that right into there. You want to grab your character movement, drag it to the bottom, and you want to set max walk speed. Here we go. Set max walk speed and then copy that, paste it on top, drag the target in, and everything. So this is going to be your non-sprinting walk speed. So set that to like 500. And this is going to be your sprinting walk speed. You, you, sprinting speed, but it's under walk speed. So I'm going to set that to 1,000. Now we're going to add a delay. I'm going to set this to a value of 0 0.05. And we're going to drag this over and drag off a branch. and then another delay. But I'm going to set this to a value of point, point 0.25. This is the rate that our stamina will um, decrease while we're sprinting, and this is the rate that our stamina will rebuild while we're um, resting. Now we're going to actually create the variable stamina and set it as an integer, and we're going to set this to a value of 100. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag out this value. We're going to put minus integer, so minus one integer, and then we're going to set stamina. So we can actually drag this over on top like that. Copy this and paste it right here. You could either put negative one or one. Um, I'm just going to put negative one. So basically, it's adding one stamina point, if that makes any sense. And now we're going to grab and get our stamina. And we're going to put greater or equal to. So if this number is greater or equal to 100, then it will not add any more stamina. And we're not going to add a branch right here. We're actually going to add a branch that will limit how far down our stamina can go over here. So we're just going to create a branch right there. And let's grab our stamina. Nothing less than zero or equal to zero. So we're going to grab our has stamina, set that 
to false, I mean to true, we're going to grab our is sprinting, set that to false, and let's grab another has stamina right here and set that to false. So if this value is greater or equal to zero, um, I mean, if this value is less than or equal to zero, we're not going to be sprinting and we're not going to have stamina anymore. And if this value is greater or equal, um, if this is just greater than zero, we're going to have stamina, which will then allow us to continue sprinting. So if I, um, yes, because I, I was figuring out the graph, I need to now recreate this sprint is sprinting, set that to true. And set this to false. Now on our third section, right here, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a print string. So we can see the amount of stamina that we have soon, I'm going to add this into a UI, which will look a lot nicer. But for now, we're just gonna do this. So it should be working. We have 100 stamina walking around, we can crouch, we can sprint. Now our stamina is decreasing. Let's let this get to zero. Now we're walking again. And now our stamina is increasing. And then I can sprint again. Now we're back to walking, sprint again, now we're back to walking. So it shows negative one, but it seems, yeah, we're, we can get the value if I'm, I'm spamming the shift key. So what I can do is actually clamp the value. Um, clamp, let me see if I can do this right here. Clamp integer minimum max 100. And we can do this each time just as like an extra precaution that we're not going either above or below the allowed values. So let's let's retry that. So I'm holding shift, sprinting, just waiting for this to get to zero. And I'm going to start spamming the key. See how it's not going down anymore? That's exactly what we wanted. So that is it for this tutorial. Um, last thing, let's just make sure to keep everything neat. So what you can do um, to keep everything neat in this graph is you can do a collapse graph nodes. So let's do that right now. So I'm going to select everything um, that has to do with the event tick, even the sequence. And I'm going to right click and click on collapse to macro. Not to macro, sorry, not to macro. We're going to actually collapse the nodes right here. Collapse nodes. And now we have an expandable graph and this is going to be called sprint. Sprint underscore graph. So now what you can do is also add an output and change that to exe and just change it to out. So now this entire graph is really condensed into this, which is perfect because now you can use this as an, um, a regular event tick. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I will see you in the next one. And make sure to write down in the comments below which different features you would like um, for me to do a tutorial on. I'm like. I'm, I can do tutorials on particle systems, I can do tutorials on virtual reality, on implementing 3D models from Blender, from Magic of Oxtel, from Substance Painter, into Unreal Engine. Um, so anything you guys have questions on, I will do my best to try to answer that in a tutorial fashion. But anyway guys, I can't wait to see you in the next one, and until then, stay safe.